Stephen Orr is with us, CEO of Quasar Markets. Good to see you. So look, um, you know, there were questions about what we would see with the CPI today. You got, you got in a slightly hotter print, but the 4.3%, uh, when you look at the big picture year over year, and it's, it's definitely not um, at 2%. What are you thinking from the print? Yeah, good morning, Nicole. Yeah, totally. You know, it only came in a tad higher, and I think that was well expected. I don't think anybody really thought that we'd have a huge print for CPI. Um, it came right in line in my in my eyes, pretty much. Uh, and I don't think anyone's shocked about that inflation. But to me, it seems that the Fed is starting to continue to use that bazooka to swat a fly. And so I do not see in any way, shape, form, or fashion the Fed raising rates um, coming up in September. Good chance they may do it in uh, October. No November, but uh, I don't see that happening at all coming up. So I think we have a pretty clear runway here. And, uh, you know, a lot of that uh, CPI print there had to do with oil. And I think the Saudis have a lot to do with the OPEC and with uh, with the cuts that they, they put on. But quite frankly, I think inflation's in check. I think we're OK. I think people are expecting it now. And I think we're, we're back to normal. And, and so at this point, what do you think of when people say that the Fed's cutting next year what do you what do you tell them on that yeah, I totally agree with that. I think the Fed will. I think a lot of times the Fed does one thing. Um, they have one piece of uh, advice always to do. And they always try to pull that big hammer. That's all they have is a sledgehammer. They can either raise or lower. And I think that they're going to actually, for the first time, they're going to lower it. It's going to be the early part of next year. I know I've been saying that even this year, but they're going to have to lower rates. We're already seeing housing prices coming down. Even on my own block, houses are trying to be sold right now. They're having a hard time. So we're already seeing a little bit of that uh, uh, American dream here already starting to fade a bit for when, especially when people feel good about their housing prices. So no, I do think they're absolutely right. I think the Fed will actually cut early part of next year. Yeah, we have a lot going on in Washington pertaining to AI and meeting with a lot of the leaders there. And I know you're watching names like Google and Meta and more. Um, what are your thoughts here? What's going on? Yeah, I mean, look, the one thing we always have to look forward to is Labor Day. And unfortunately, that means campaigning starts uh, around the world, uh, but especially here in the United States. Listen, uh, I feel I feel really bad for people in New Hampshire and Iowa and Florida and, and uh, South Carolina because they're going to get hit with a lot of advertising. Uh, political advertising is going to make large strides. And this will be the first time we're going to hit over $10 billion in spending, um, especially that will help Google and definitely help Meta. Um, especially in the AI side, as AI is being used to target uh, those voters. And I, again, I think I feel sorry for them because they're going to get a lot of advertising uh, this cycle. Right, understood. So let's talk about what you tell investors at this, at this point. I know you're watching abroad. You noted Japan's GDP. I mean, we're seeing growth in Japan and India, um, unlike what we're seeing for China. Um, what are you thinking and what do you tell investors about investing at home and abroad? Yeah, you're totally right, Nicole. I definitely see the bright spot here in investing is not here in the United States. Even though I am long here in the United States, it is absolutely in the Asian Pacific rim, especially in Japan. Look, the latest manufacturing business survey came in at 5.4%. The last reading was down 0.4%, and before that in Q2 was down 10.5%. That is a turnaround of 16%. And we're also seeing construction orders were up 8.7% percent year over year. That's a pretty good uh, numbers there. And look, unlike our own Fed, the Bank of Japan there has been a whole lot looser with their monetary policy. And I think they'll continue to do that. And I think that's a bright spot around the world, Japan, and especially in India as well. They're doing the exact same thing. And uh, software sales are doing quite well, I think, in India. And I think you're seeing construction and uh, industrial production quite nice in uh, India right now. As we talk about um, here at home, and you said you are long here at home, even though the bright spot, in your opinion, really was Japan. But, you know, I can't avoid the Magnificent Seven. And yesterday we had a big Apple announcement. Do you like any of those names for the long term or anything else that sort of jumps out at you as a go for an investment? 
Yeah, obviously Microsoft is one of those. They are really taking advantage of that. Um, the Xbox, lots of games coming out. Game uh, Pass has been doing quite well. I also think anybody that's in the movie world of there, so it'd be Apple, it'd be Amazon with Prime Video, are going to do very well. But I have been saying it for a while now here, especially on your show, that AI is going to be super hot. And it has done been super hot, so much so that Congress has uh, pulled those people into in front of them, like Bill Gates and uh, Google Schmidt. Uh, in front of them to talk about it because to be honest with you congress has been a little bit behind the eight ball when it comes to ai and it's coming so fast we're able to discern uh, and able to pinpoint how to make even more money using ai and ai is really on the forefront now of everybody's tongue and uh, like i said earlier look they're going to use it for political reasons uh targeting voters so those companies that are on that forefront that are actually going to be in the voting world that are in the software world that are in tv uh ai is going to be the key right there. All right. Good to see you, Stephen Orr. Always great to have you on the show. Thank you so much of Quasar Markets. Thanks.